and welcome to Vlogmas Day 19. It is like almost 7 p.m. I was on the phone with our Wi-Fi customer service for the past two hours because it was supposed to be turned back on today. So I called to find out why it wasn't turned on. And as it turns out, it's not gonna be turned on for another three days, which means it will have been six days with no Wi-Fi for no reason. Like they just accidentally canceled it. Like it was not, not our fault at all. Uh, so the technician who fixed the technical problems, who was really polite, told me that he would get me a refund for not only our time without Wi-Fi, but like the fact that I didn't have Wi-Fi for that time and like it affected my life. But then when he transferred me to that person, they yelled at me on the phone, interrupted me, told me I was wrong, and that I was lying about being lied to in the first place about the day that it would be fixed. So it was horrible. I asked to speak to a supervisor and was told that the supervisors were too busy to speak to me. It's been a night, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> It's been a night. Um, I think we're switching service providers. Like, I think we're actually gonna go right now to the mall to like switch internet service providers. So, that's been my night. This Vlogmas video will be brought to you by, <laughs> to you by us doing nothing exciting for you. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Also, <laughs> Because we have no Wi-Fi, I still haven't uploaded yesterday's Vlogmas video. So, anyways, we're heading to the mall. Exciting times. Poor Parker is gonna have to get locked up. We'll be back though. We won't be long, the mall is close. Nick, what are you doing? We canceled with Distributel, like after that man yelled at me, like Danik and I both were just like, nope, we don't want to service with you anymore. Like, unfortunately, this ruined your, your like company for us. So we went to Fido and we got new internet right away. Like we have it now. I'm uploading the video with the new internet that we went into Fido for for an hour ago. Like... It's crazy. The guy was so polite. Everyone at Fido was so nice. And like, it happened instantaneously. Like I just, anyways. So we're ending the night on a good note, but it was a really rough, <laughs> like I was on customer service with Distributel for two and a half hours tonight. So that's why you don't really have any vlog footage, unfortunately. Hello again. So I'm in bed and I decided to post some Q&A like things online. So I asked you on Twitter and I asked you on Instagram to send me some questions so that I could turn today's Vlogmas video into a Q&A to turn this day upside down and kind of make it a good day full of good things. So I'm going to answer some of your questions now. By the time that this video is up on YouTube for you guys, the questions are still going to be available to answer on Instagram. So I will do another Q&A in another Vlogmas video if you decide to ask me questions over there or on Twitter. So you can still head there. I'll leave the link to both of them in the description box down below for you guys. Without further ado, I'm going to answer some questions. <laughs> some of them are going to be hilarious and like discussions and I'm very excited to see what your thoughts are in the comments. So. <laughs> Let's get started. First, we're gonna start with my favorite of the questions. So one of my friends and I have this running argument about whether Captain America is a Hufflepuff or a Gryffindor. And she asked me which house Cap was in and why is it Gryffindor? Um, so spoiler alert, I believe Captain America is a Hufflepuff because he is a Hufflepuff. Um, <laughs> I mean, you're entitled to your opinion. You can think he's whatever you want, but like, I am, I will die on this hill. Like, I am positive. Like, my life goal is just for Chris Evans to like, solidify that Cap is a Hufflepuff by just like coming out and saying it, you know? Um, but, <laughs> reasonings for this. Um, so my friend believes that he is a Gryffindor because... He originally is like, I want to be like the other boys, and I want to be big, and I want to serve my country, and 
I want to do all the things and I will be the guinea pig for this because I want to help everyone and reckless abandon, basically. I believe that reckless abandon is actually loyalty. Um, so I believe that he is more loyal than he is anything else, which therefore makes him a Hufflepuff. Another argument that I have is that Gryffindors are determined and Hufflepuffs are dedicated. Those are very similar things, but not the exact same thing. And I believe that if I had to choose of those two words, which one I would use to describe cap, I would use dedicated. So between that and the loyalty thing, I just truly believe he's a Hufflepuff and not a Gryffindor. And like, I want to be clear, I am a Gryffindor. I would love for Cap to be a Gryffindor. I'm very pro-Gryffindors. I think they're great. But he isn't one. <laughs> like, I just don't believe, I don't believe that he is a Gryffindor. Um, I believe a lot of superheroes are, but I also believe that it's very easy to just kind of lump all superheroes into the Gryffindor category when, like, your Hogwarts house isn't, like, the only thing you are. Like, me being bold and courageous and reckless and, like, that isn't all I am. I'm cunning, I'm ambitious, I'm witty, I value knowledge, I'm kind, but, like, I would describe myself as bold. Like, I feel like a Gryffindor with qualities from other houses. So, like, it's not like a, a system where you're one thing or the other. It's like you're more of one thing, but you have all the other qualities. And I feel like Captain America is a Hufflepuff with Gryffindor qualities. That's it. Um, but I would like to hear your thoughts. Um, like, to each their own, you have your own opinion. Obviously, like, this is like a ridiculous argument. It doesn't matter which Hogwarts house a fictional character is in. Uh, but I would love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below and let me know which house you believe Captain America is in. If you have an argument for it, let me know. That's it. I'm going to move on to another question now, even though this is my favorite question of all time, and I will argue this question forever. Sidebar, other hills I will die on. John Ambrose McLaren is the best choice. Somebody over on Instagram asked me, um, they said, you're always so happy. How do you, like, stay happy with all the internet yelling? Um, and honestly, I was like, so I'm a crier. We're going to learn things about Ashley today. Um, I'm a crier in the sense that I cry when I'm feeling any emotion overly. So if I'm overly happy, I'm crying. If I'm overly stressed, I'm crying. If I'm overwhelmed, I'm crying. If I'm angry, I'm crying. And if I'm sad, I normally don't cry. <laughs> like, it's weird. But I was so angry on the phone that I was like crying. And then I ended up getting so long story short, I talked to about 20 different people in the last three days from this provider. And the last person I spoke to, whose sole job was to keep me with that company was so kind and he saw my file and he was just like if you want me to cancel this I'm just gonna cancel it I'm not gonna try to keep you here I'm not gonna do I feel like you've just been put through so much that I will do whatever you want if you want $30 off of your services for the next bajillion months I'll do that if you want a like voucher fee, I'll do that. If you want anything you want, I will do it because at this point I think like you just need somebody on your side. And I was just like so happy with that. And I canceled the service because like at that point I just, I was done. I didn't want to deal with it anymore. Um, so <laughs> I canceled the service. He canceled it for me. He refunded me last month's payment and he was so, he was just so kind. He was just so kind. And then at the end, I was like, thank you so much for being so kind and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And I really, truly hope you have a wonderful weekend. And he was just like, 
honestly, I've never had somebody be so blunt and kind about what they wanted and what they needed and thank you. And I was just like, that was all I needed to hear. And I like started crying again, but this time from happiness. And that was it. I was in a good mood from then forward. So basically I stay in a good mood because I try to focus on the good things and I try to be that good thing for other people. So like, I know that all it takes is one happy comment and one smile or one good thing to turn somebody's entire day around. So I try to do that for other people because other people do that for me all the time. So I hope that made sense. But that's basically how I stay like bright and happy on a regular basis. <laughs> also, for those of you wondering, if you're wondering why this position is really weird, I'm like laying on my bed because I'm exhausted, but I really wanted to answer these questions for you guys. So I hope the angle's fine, but even if it's not, it's too late because I'm already answering them like this. Uh, somebody else asked me what music I'm currently listening to. Um, I'm listening to the new Florence album a lot. I love it. I love Florence always. Uh, Mumford and Sons is something I listen to always. <laughs> um, they're like my favorite band probably ever. Uh, I listen to, <laughs> um, an internet friend of mine, Max from Well Done Books. Um, he has amazing taste in music and any time that I'm like, I feel like I'm in a rut or I feel like I just want something new to listen to, I always go to his Spotify account and listen to like his currently listening playlist. Um, I will message him and see if I can get permit. Like, I just want his permission to link his Spotify. I mean, I know it's public and I don't need his permission, but I want it. So I'll message him and I'll ask him if it's okay for me to link it down below. And if it is, I will leave it linked for you because he is one of my favorite, like, music people like I always go to him for new music recs I'm really loving the new Macy Peters album I've been listening to it a lot since it released super excited for Dodie's new album like super excited it drops in like two weeks um what else am I listening to a lot lately I don't know to be honest my Discover Weekly hasn't been super great the last few weeks. And the last question for tonight, but again, I'll answer a whole bunch more in another Vlogmas video when like it's not 10 p.m. and I don't work at five o'clock in the morning. Um, but the last question was, what are some of your favorite books from your childhood? So I wasn't actually a huge reader until I was like about 10. So... I didn't dislike reading as a child, but it wasn't like my favorite hobby when I was super young. Uh, so a lot of my favorite childhood books aren't like super young childhood books, but I can tell you that A Handful of Time by Kit Pearson is one of the first books I remember like really loving and like hitting close to home. Uh, the Outsiders was one of my favorite like school read books and it basically taught me that I didn't only like fantasy. So like it was definitely the first book that I liked that was contemporary and like hard hitting, I guess. Uh, Harry Potter, obviously. Uh, what else? I really liked the like owl books. What were they called? Guardians? I think Guardians they were called. Um, Guardians of Gahul. Guardians of Gahul? Is that what you just said? Apparently the series is called Guardians of Gahul and this is why I keep Danik around. I have a lot of like integral books, like books that really made a difference in my life, but those two are definitely like the childhood ones for me. So what you doing? Okay, bye. Hopefully tomorrow's Vlogmas video will be better than the last few days. I won't be stressed about the internet. I won't be as tired. So hopefully we will accomplish some things and do some things and tomorrow's Vlogmas video will be less boring. Thank you for sticking around and for not thinking that the videos are boring. Like all of you are commenting, saying wonderful things, enjoying the content and like I could not appreciate you anymore. You are all so wonderful. I could not ask for better viewers. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the Q&A, and again, if you have any more questions, you can go to Instagram or Twitter, or you can just leave them in the comments of this video. I will check all three places, and I will film another Q&A before Vlogmas is over. I might even make it, like, an actual, like, sit down with my DSLR, like, 
make a quality content kind of video video. So I don't know yet, depending on how many questions I get, I will do that or maybe I'll just do it like this again. Either way, if you have any questions, leave them down below or on Instagram or on Twitter or all three. You do you. And other than that, I will see you guys soon with another video. And by that, I definitely mean I will see you tomorrow with another Vlogmas video. Bye. Parker, give Papa kisses. Oh. Give Papa kisses. Oh. Give Papa kisses. No? Okay. No. You just want to talk. Oh. Yeah, I know. You have a lot to say. Ah, that's my face. Oh, good girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, good girl, Parker. <laughs> Good girl. I love you too. Yeah.